is day one of Readathon. Yeah, we're in the bookstore. It's 9 p.m. and we're shopping for books because Where as you he? can see... Thank you. <laughs> there is He's 20% summoned. off sale. So we're shopping for books. And we're getting good deals. We will show you a haul when we get home. Yeah! now home and I can speak at a normal volume. Uh, we were at Half Price Books for those of you who did not recognize the inside of that store and they were having 20% off a Memorial Day weekend sale. We went to get like two or three books. We walked out with a hundred and what $23 worth of books but it was only like $98 because of the sale so we'll show you what we got. Up. We decided to start collecting the hardcover Harry Potters. So far, or currently before doing this collection, we only have the first five books in paperback and they're really in rough condition. So they had some really good deals on the hardcovers. So we got Order of the Phoenix, got some Half-Blood Prince, and Deathly Hallows. So Like the last half of the series. Right. So now we just need to get the rest. They had some other ones in the series in hardcover, but they were not in good condition. So we decided not to get those. Randos. So we're going to read these for the HBO show. His Dark Materials is coming out. So they had some super cheap copies. Look at that. Two bucks. It's a paperback, but it works. But we're going to read them so we got them. But I like this cover. So I'm glad we got this one. And then we are going to, on our BS Review channel, I will link it for you guys, uh, we're going to do a book-to-movie adaptation of this when it comes out, and also The Shining, so we'll go back and do The Shining and then do Doctor Sleep, but they didn't have any Shinings because apparently that's super popular and they never have them, but we got two really nice hardcovers. Now, I love this series. This is by Jonathan Mayberry. This is a really good YA. I guess it's YA. Yeah, it was, yeah, in, the YA it was in the YA section. section. So, it's pretty adult like theme though there's a lot of people don't have it's zombies but it's set like 20 years after the zombie apocalypse already happened so it's pretty good i i just looked over and saw all f the first three books in the series just sitting there there's and four so, right yeah i believe there's four so. yeah that's what it said online so but like look at how cheap these are and like our doctor sleeps were only 13 good deals man and then we also got some comic books, so we're currently collecting the entire Lock and Key series, the hardcover. I believe there's, is there only five, or are there six? I have no idea. I don't remember. Um, but this is also becoming a TV show. This is by Joe Hill. So if you have read Nosferatu or heard of it, this is by the same author. And this is supposed to be super dark and interesting. We have the first two volumes, um, and we found volume number five. So we went ahead and picked it up, because full price volumes are like 25 bucks at our local comic book store. So this is way better deal. If you saw our comic book haul on our channel that we posted this last week, like a week ago. On the BS Review channel. On the BS Review channel, we had, uh, I got the first four in this series, except for number one, uh, hardcover for like, what, 70% off. Mm -hmm. And so I found this one, in a, volume one, and so I completed my collection. I was like, yes, and I had to get it. So that's our haul. That's what we did on our Saturday night. I have not read anything today. All I've done is Sims. I have played Sims for like five hours today because I've been building a house. Maybe I'll show it to you in this vlog <laughs> when I'm done. It's almost done. Um, we're going to have more date night. We're going to play some video games. I don't know if I'll read later. If I do, I'll let you know. I'll probably do a full like TBR for the week tomorrow. Well, in a few minutes of your time, but well, tomorrow for me. Yeah. But welcome to the vlog. Are you going to Summer Bash read a fun with me? I mean, I don't know if I got any contemporary romance with, on my DBR, but we'll see what happens. We'll check in with you later. Bye! Bye. Sunday, it's day two of the readathon. I have still not read anything because I've been very lazy today. But I thought I'd update you on what we're doing. We are about to go to our local brewery to go to a what's called a brew BQ, which I think is adorable. Um, and we're going to go eat barbecue and drink beer. So that's our Sunday plan. Yeah. Normally we take the small child with us, but it's like 90 degrees today and the event is mainly outside and he does not do well in heat if we can't get him to like a temperature controlled area pretty frequently. So we're going to leave him at home because we don't want to have to worry about him or worry about him overheating and then having to come home early. But 
that's the plan. I'll try to get some clips, if I remember, and then I may or may not check in with you guys later. Uh, the temperature cooled off, so I went and got the keto, and we're heading back to the brewery. Monday. It's Memorial Day, so we're both off work. It's a reading vlog and I still haven't read anything, but uh, we are currently heading to a local coffee shop to get some breakfast and some coffee. Small child is with us as per usual. This is a cat vlog, not a reading vlog apparently, but that's what we're doing. And then we'll, I will probably read later today, definitely, so that's the plan. Me too. Are you? Yeah. But just... I mean, not for the, yeah. the read a thought. <laughs> so we'll update you guys later. following us all the way down the street because we have a cat. They keep swooping at us, it's freaky. for a walk right now was a really bad decision um, on my way home from work I noticed that it smelled kind of smoky out and it looked a little hazy but we have a really popular uh, barbecue place right by us so I thought it was just them like grilling stuff so I decided to take Mojo for a walk and then I realized that it was not just that apparently the oldest hotel in Dallas burned down last night and I didn't know that and I guess it's just been like smoldering all day so there's a ton of smoke in the air and I like didn't realize it when I first stepped outside because it's just like kind of hazy like it doesn't look that off and then you start walking and I was like coughing kiddo started panting which I guess was because he was having trouble breathing I felt really bad um so we're home and avoiding the smoke I am so happy that we bought a um air filter last week like a HEPA filter so I have that running on high in the back to help keep our air <clears throat> cleaner but I had no idea I like looked it up while I was out walking I was like oh we should probably not be outside in this so anyways it's Tuesday it's day four of the readathon um I did read some today I read at lunch I'm reading good omens right now which doesn't technically match any of my challenges for this readathon however the tv show comes out on Friday so I'm trying to finish it up for a project that I'm doing for a book to movie adaptation series that will be on my other channel um, so I'm trying to get that done, but, uh, I plan on reading more of that tonight and also reading maybe more of Red Mars. I'm reading Red Mars by Kim Stanley Robinson, which does complete my challenge for having orange on the cover, which I'll show you guys later. But, um, it's my Tuesday update. I'm going to try to breathe a little bit better and try to convince my husband to let me come pick him up from work because he walked to work today and I don't really want him walking home in this. We'll see.
I just realized that, one, it's Thursday. I did not do, I think, like an actual talking to you check-in yesterday. And uh, it's like 6.30 p.m. and I'm just now talking to you today. So, update. Uh, mainly what I have been reading is Good Omens. I was reading an audiobook yesterday called Billy Flynn's Long Halftime Walk, I think. Um, I'm an... I got an hour into the audiobook and I decided I'm going to DNF it. It's just not a subject matter that interests me. I don't particularly like the narrator, not of the audiobook, but like the main character of the story. Um, the only reason I had it on my TBR is because it was sent to me in a book subscription box from my local bookstore. So. DNF'd that one, uh, reading more of Good Omens. I haven't finished any books this readathon, which has been par for the course for my last few readathons. Um, I've honestly been kind of stressed lately with uh, some stuff going on, so I just have felt like taking it slow and relaxing and enjoying my readathon instead of trying to kill myself just to have a certain amount of books done. Um, if that's your goal in readathons, great. For me personally, I just want to have a good time and read books no matter how many there are. Um, so it's Thursday. I'm going to be running sprints in a little bit on the Twitter account, which reminds me I need to go check the poll to see what time you guys wanted to do sprints. So Thursday, that's the Thursday update. We have one day left for the readathon. I'm so thrown off by the fact that this readathon ends on a Friday instead of a Sunday. So I keep thinking I have more days in this readathon when I don't. So that's been interesting. Um, but yeah, that's the update, if you're wondering why I'm sitting in front of my couch <laughs> instead of on my couch, um, my TV is too small to see my Sims from the couch, so I, I put a chair in the middle of the living room so I can play Sims, because that's what brings me joy, so that's what I'm doing. I just started the Legacy Challenge in Sims. If you're a Sim person, you may or may not know what that is. Um, and it's difficult. My game keeps freezing and getting buggy, and I really hope that I don't have to restart this. Because I've already sunk a couple days into it, so... <laughs> Anyways, long-winded check-in. Oh, someone is begging for attention. Do you see this sad, sad boy? Hi. We're waiting for Dad to get home. Because my husband is still at work. He's been working late all week. But... Super long check-in over. I'll talk to you guys later. Hello, it is Friday. It is the last day of the readathon, and per usual, I have not read very much. And by very much, I mean it all. Uh, I had a busy day at work, and then I um, went out for drinks with some friends. Uh, so we just got back from that. I did not get any clips from it, because I don't really vlog that much when I'm around my friends. Um, but we took the small child, went to a brewery, had some food, had some drinks good times were had. Um, I am now home. I am running a live chat on the Twitter with one of my co-hosts, Aaron. And so, yeah, that's what's happening. I will probably read a little bit more of Good Omens later because the season dropped today and I want to finish rereading the book before I watch the show. So I am having a bit of self-control before watching the show. So... That is my reading slash TV show watching update. Um, I'll fill you guys in later and close out this vlog as well.